What is going on guys? Lies over here at Ponder and Creations Farm. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I've been not really doing long videos, but we are talking about preserving today and what is coming next for us. I'm gonna start this video with a couple updates at our Polony Pond. One is that we just put about 30 new big fish in here. Somebody was closing down their pond and we got them. There's this black one with the white tips right here. That is my favorite. I love that fish. So beautiful. On Mother's Day, I put six babies in here that I haven't even seen yet. So they're hiding and I'm sure they're getting big by now. And look at this that I got for my birthday. Oh my God, a misting fan. Watch this. I was having some health issues and was I'm pretty heat intolerant right now. So this is what I got for my birthday. Oh my God, it feels so wonderful, you guys. It sprays pretty good. You can see the rainbow. Love it. We put in a new water catchment there, which is something that we added to the farm this year, which I'm super excited about, especially when you have to water the greenhouse. Garden is mostly planted and my baby corn starting to come up. All the tomatoes are done. We almost had enough cages, but look at that oregano over there. So we got to get harvesting. Set up a little block party for the chickens and the baby chicks. They're getting so big already and they've just been out free ranging. Getting along keep good. keep playing in this little playhouse, which is really meant for people, but how cute is that? We did a new raised bed this year and here is the new water catchment that I was telling you guys about. It's also great because we we grow aquatic plants, so it's another like planting area for us. Oh, there's a dragonfly. I'm gonna get this middle aisle here uh, weeded and get some watermelons and stuff in there. I think that'll be a great addition to the fruit garden. With the cotton in the air and this wisteria blooming, I don't even wanna go inside right now. Today is a great day to be doing this because we are getting some storms coming in. So I am just adding some of this freeze dried food over here. I've got a green mix, some ramps and sorrel. Um, and I didn't put it over with my other freeze dried stuff because that's from the previous year. So I'm just gonna store it in here for now until I finish my greens from the last season. We are down to two things of sauce and two things of tomato soup. So we did really good on our tomato products this year. I do have some lots of salsas left, so I'm good on that. But we also supplement that from the store. Last year I didn't really make any jams or jellies and I really didn't with anything forage this year. Like I should have done a violet or a dandelion or something like that, but the season just comes in so quick and we're so busy with ponds. But I'm gonna try to do some more foraging for some jams this year. For preserving this year, I think I'm going to freeze dry most of my herbs. I will dehydrate the teas and stuff like that, but I think for the most part with the herbs, I'm just gonna be doing freeze drying this year. I wanna focus on getting more like fruit juices, even if it's concentrate, fruit juice concentrates on the shelf, and also just preserve fruit in its natural state and that'll make the juice on its own and then you can use that for something. Kinda of like the way I've been doing the blueberries and the cranberries and all that stuff. I didn't take you guys back and show you the orchard, but we did get gooseberries this year, so I'm hoping that we at least get a little harvest of something like that too. I'm gonna to offer some canning class events through the store, so I want you guys to do me a favor and let me know down below what you think would be a good class is. I've done a strawberry preserves class. I think that one was really good. Uh, and then I did a pressure canning one, but I want to do something new and let me know what you think it should be. We will be doing meat birds again this year and I still was assessing what we had left for meat from that because I had canned five birds and we put the other 15 in the freezer. Uh, we left five whole and processed 10 into pieces and we're going through that pretty quickly. Today's little side quest is this calendula oil that we started together. And just so you know, it's, I have totally forgotten about it. <laughs> so I don't know how old it is. I'm gonna get the question on what are we gonna use this for? This will be great to add to any lotions that we're gonna make this year, but I'll just use this as an oil and rub it onto my hands. I might even put it like in a spray bottle or something like that, just so it can be easily applied. So make something, get creative. Thanks for joining us at the farm today, everyone. I am signing off, but I want to know down below, what are you doing to cross something off your grocery list this year? Grow it yourself. Get those gardens planted, guys. We'll see you next they're time. They're only happy when they're eating. Otherwise, they're yelling. Sorry, neighbors. Ah!